Wilbert Evans Lee, a 44-year-old native of Raleigh, North Carolina, was executed in Virginia on October 17, 1990 by electric chair, as a result of his attempt to escape from the Old Town Jailhouse in Alexandria. During the escape, he took Deputy William Truesdale's weapon and shot him in the side. Evans admitted to the act but claimed he didn't intend to kill Truesdale. He seized the opportunity when he saw the gate of the prison open. Despite the broken gate, there was no justification for the killing. A jury found Evans guilty of capital murder and determined that he should be sentenced to death due to his violent and misguided nature, posing a potential threat to others. Here's now 1056. Warden Muncy is proceeding to the cell to read the order by the court to Evans. Seems to be a pause. The attorney is still taking a statement from Evans. She's calling me. He is now 1057. The warden is reading the order by the court to Evans. Evans has requested to read it himself. The warden has handed him the order. Wayne, 1057, they're reading the court order. Evans is reading the court order. Evans has completed reading the court order to himself. He's handed it back to the warden. The cell door is opening. The team is walking Evans out of the cell. The team is escorting Evans into the chamber. The team is continuing to strap Evans into the chair. It's now 11 o'clock. It's 11.04, the first surge of electricity has been administered.
7.05, second surge of electricity has been administered. There were no last words? Uh, last words were given to his attorney. Prior to leaving the cell, he gave the attorney a statement. Process complete. 11.05, What was the time of that? Uh, Eleven oh five. Eleven oh eight. Team member is proceeding towards Evans to open his shirt. Doctor Peel has entered the room. Eleven oh nine, the inmate has expired. Debbie? Yes. Debbie? Yes, ma'am. Did you get everything? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. I'm going to hang up now. Okay. During Wilbert Evans' execution, Journalists observed blood flowing from under his leather death mask, with one reporter noting that it ran down his belly and shirt. However, the official tape recorded by the prison did not capture these details. The recorded employee mentioned the administration of electricity but did not mention any evidence of blood. The narrator's voice broke on tape, indicating possible emotional impact, but she never clarified the reason. The tape simply states the times of the administered surges of electricity and concludes with the statement that the inmate has expired. Following the execution, the attending physician noted that the body of Evans became so hot that he had to wait a few minutes for it to cool before checking for a pulse. The physician explained that the body, being a poor conductor, heats up when electrical currents pass through it, likening it to the elements of a toaster. During the sentencing, Alexandria Commonwealth's attorney, John Clock argued for the death penalty for Evans, presenting false records of Evans' prior convictions, including assaulting a police officer. These convictions played a significant role in the jury's recommendation for death. Documents indicated that Clock was aware of the falseness of the convictions all along. In February 1984, Wilbur Evans faced a new jury and was resentenced by Alexandria Commonwealth's attorney John Clock, who introduced new evidence, including untried charges of a 1978 murder during a card game argument. The jury once again sentenced Evans to death. Shortly after, Evans protected guards and nurses during a death row escape, but the Attorney General and Governor Wilder denied clemency, influenced by political factors including a national campaign for a retrial for another inmate, Joe Giarratano. Ultimately, Giarratano received clemency while Evans was executed in the electric chair.